Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping in. I sure appreciate it. I don't know about y'all, but for me, March came and left in a real big hurry. Just hi and bye, adios. So holy cow, March is gone. April is around the corner, but with a new month comes new palettes. So let's see what I have pulled out for April. Okay, y'all. I'm here. I'm ready for April. Let's go ahead and do this. I've got my stack of palettes here. Um, I am not a pastel person. I know spring and April, people are like, pastel, pastel. I'm not a pastel person. I actually have no pastel palettes. Mostly. I'll explain that in a few minutes. But I just, I don't do pastels. So for me, when I'm feeling this April, when I'm gravitating towards, I'm still kind of in my green moment. So like I, I stick, I have a couple of like green palettes in here, but I also am feeling a pinky purple vibe, much like I was in February, which is weird because pink is one of my least favorite colors to wear, but like I want to wear them right now. I'm gonna blame it on spring. You know, I, I see the yellows, the purples, the pinks, like my little bunny butt, isn't it so cute? so cute but I just that's what I'm feeling is those pinks and purples again so you might see a couple repeat palettes from my February rotation but uh you know what let's just quit talking and get into it and again these are no particular order I, I just this is how I have them stacked so this is how I'm pulling them the one of the first palettes I'm going to use is my wet and wild walking on eggshells five pan palette here this one to me just screams spring you've got this pretty little pink pop here you've got this creamy yellow mustardy color here and it's just a pretty neutral pretty color story so for me this just felt like the right season to use this so this is on the list okay so this one is actually brand new to me um i actually want it in a giveaway on instagram from kelsey's beauty stash i will of course link her instagram down below but part of my winnings was a Pat McGrath palette, and this is the Sunset Romance, and this color story is precisely what I'm looking for right now. It is so pretty. So here's what she looks like. Oops, losing the, pl the plastic there. But just like a nice, pretty pink, neutral, mauve moment there. And I, when I got this, I was like, oh, that is kind of springy. I really like that. So I will be using that throughout the month. It's just the right color story, right time. It works. A repeat that you're gonna see and you might be a little surprised. I think I'm trying to make a final decision on this palette so I'm pulling it back out one more time. We're gonna run through it and I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna keep it or not. And it's the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. I've talked about this several times so just a tiny quick recap. I love the mattes in this. I don't know how I feel about the shim Well, I do know how I feel about the shimmers. I don't love the shimmers. They're not my favorite formula. But I'm trying to decide if this is worth keeping for the mattes and dealing with the shimmers or if I just need to let it go. So we're gonna give this one more shot. It's kind of on my chopping block. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so wish me luck on this one, but I'm gonna be using this one for springs. We've got nice pinks, we've got some golds. It's fairly neutral. I think it's the right time of year to give it a final test. A repeat you saw from March. Um, I need to bring this into April. It's the ABH Nouveau palette. It has to come with me. I just, I can't not use this in April. Um, yeah, I mean, that particular shade. <laughs> this shade right here, to me, I'm like, that's April right there. Just, that's April. I'm done. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward to using this or continuing to use it. This is actually what I have on my eyes today. Um, I use Floor in the Crease, Liberty in the Outer Corner. Um, I think it's Bell. Yeah, Bell mostly on the lid and Isle in the inner corner. Um, just a little more neutral look today since I was wearing a more purpley shirt. Got a lot of errands to run today. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I intend on taking this one through April. Um, it's also in my no project left be or project no pan left behind. I haven't finished that yet because I've got to get into that purple shade. So um, yeah, taking this along with me in April. This is like when people say pick your one spring palette. This is my one spring palette. I think it's the colors. I think it's the packaging. I think it's just a little bit of everything. But it's my Tarte Tartlet Energy palette. How cute is this? Like pink and gold. It's so cute. But it's definitely the color story too. Um, it's so reflective on my lights. I'm so sorry. I'm trying not to like blind you. But I also want you to like see it. But here's what we're working with. It's just, it's got some purples, it's got some pinks, it's got some really nice 
golds and like reddish tones like it's just so cute and so pretty again I'm trying not to blind y'all but I want you to see the color story so I'm just kind of moving it around here <laughs> that's the only thing about this packaging I do like that it's easily cleanable but that reflective packaging if I'm working in like studio lights it blinds me while I'm trying to work but I just thought this was a really great spring palette and if someone said you can have one palette for the spring what would you pick this is gonna be it so absolutely this is out for this month so this one isn't necessarily screaming spring at me, um, but I do like to have a couple like off the wall options in my rotation. And this one I've had my eye on for the last couple of months and I decided this was the month to drag it out. It is the ColourPop Off Melrose palette. Now it's a fairly neutral palette, but to me, I think I can get away with it for springtime colors. It's got this pop of gold here. It's got this like purpley leaning duochrome right here. This is a pressed glitter. I don't use it. You can see I've attempted to use it because it's got a like a little dip from where I've previously grabbed that color. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like pressed glitter. So I see this unfortunately being a shade I just don't use often. Um, I will use it because it's eventually going to be part of my project No Pan Left Behind. Um, but that'll probably be the one shade that's left when I've hit every other shade in this palette. But let me give you a quick little close up. And yeah, again, that is a duochrome. It's like a purpley brown. That's the shift on that one. But here is what the palette looks like. Again, pretty neutral, but um, you've got this little like mauve purple in here. You've got this duochrome purple. You've got some gold. It's overall pretty neutral, but I think it's gonna be a great neutral addition to my spring collection for this month. Uh, we've got two repeat palettes coming up. Um, I believe I mentioned it in the start of this video. I'm kind of craving those pinky purples for the month of April. I I don't really know why, but I am. So this is a repeat. This is the Retro palette. I think I mentioned in a previous video, I wasn't ready to put this away yet. Well, yeah, here you go. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like I absolutely see this being a February palette, but I kind of see it being a spring palette too. You've got some really vibrant pinks. You've got some mauve tones. We've gone over this palette several times at this point. I just, I'm really excited to keep using this and this is a great time too. Pull it back out. So yeah, we're gonna use her again. The other repeat palette's also Natasha Denona. It's I Need a Nude. Again, it's those like pinky tones. It's, I mean, of course the whole palette's not pink toned, but there is a lot of pink leaning tones in my personal opinion. So, and it's pretty neutral. Again, I like to have some neutral options in my rotation. So this one just kind of hit the spot for that one. So we are going to keep her out. This next one isn't necessarily one that I think of for spring, and there really is only a couple shades in here that I'll use. The reason I pulled this is even though technically Easter is in March, I did pull it for April because there is a particular look that I make every Easter because I get mad love about it, and it's from this palette. <laughs> so I always pull it out for this time of year for that reason. And this is the Pat McGrath Celestial Nirvana palette. Um, so for this one, Again, you're probably going, where are you getting an Easter look from this, girlfriend? Let me show you. Let me show you. And it is kind of a lot of a, sh a lot of shades to use for one look, but bear with me. It's this right here, this column, and these three shades. So again, I know that's a lot of shades for one look. Hear me out, friend. So what I do is I put the mid-tone purple in the crease, but I blend it out with the pink so it's like pink mid-tone purple then I deepen it with this color right here and then mid-lid inner corner like again I know it's a lot of shades but it's very festive it's very eastery I always get compliments compliments on it every year from family friends strangers when we're out running around so it's very festive very springy and I can kind of see how some of these colors are a little bit springy. So I'm like, you know what? I need to drag this out. I need to make some use of this. So we're going to try it. We're going to just add these colors in there. We're going to see what happens. If you follow me on Instagram, you're going to see all the looks I create with this. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will link that down below as well if you would like to follow. But uh, I post most days of the look I create and the palette I used kind of fun but we'll see what I can do with this I, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little nervous about trying to incorporate all of these but we'll see what happens these last two palettes are very new to me um I haven't done a video with it on my channel yet I intend on doing so and this one might be like a little off bear with me 
This is the Blend Bunny Blends palette, okay? I talked about not being a pastel person, not really having a lot of pastels, even though I think I want a pastel. Every time I go to buy one, I'm like, no, I'm never gonna wear them. <laughs> this is not a pastel palette, but hear me out, guys. Hear me out, okay? Let me switch sides here. My shoulder's getting tired. There are some very springy shades in here. It's a rainbow palette. It absolutely is a rainbow palette, but like, I've only created one look with this so far and I used all these green shades. The, this middle column here is very vibrant. It's pastel slash neon. It's, it's like, is it neon? Is it pastel? You can make it work. And I used a white base underneath this shade right here and it made it look very pastel. Whereas on its own, it looks very neon. Do you see where I'm going with this? I can make this work. This is going to be my pastel neon palette. I'm going to make it work because it's so perfect. It's got the gradient I use every time. Lid, crease, outer corner. Lid, crease, outer corner. I'm going to make this my pastel spring palette. Check my Instagram for looks. And last but certainly not least, <sighs> the Nomad Ireland palette. Okay. So I've actually used this a few times. I had filmed a whole video because I used this on the two days or the day before I left for my vacation and the day of leaving for my vacation. And my smart butt thought I could film those two looks, edit it and get it up and posted before I went on vacation. I gave myself like a three hour window. Yeah, obviously I'm bad at time management and it did not work out like I intended. So I actually did film a whole video with two looks with this, first impressions. Well, what happened to it, Mac? Um, I don't know. I definitely filmed it. I definitely did. And I vaguely remember that day trying to transfer it from my recording device to my laptop to edit it. And then like suitcase troubles happened, kid meltdowns happened. And so I'm certain that I transferred it from one device to the other, but it exists on neither device. I swear somebody's messing with me because this is not the first time recently that this has happened. I swear somebody's messing with me. So I don't know where that video went. I'm really sorry, but if you want to see a video with this, I'm more than happy to do one. Um, it, of course, won't be a first impression, but oh, this palette is so pretty. And March, even though I told you I was still in the like purpley pink phases. I'm still green lover at heart too. And I think you can totally get away with green in spring. I mean, you can get away with green whenever. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. I'm a very seasonal holiday motivated person. So I jive with the seasons. You of course don't have to do that. That's just me being me. But um, I'm not ready to put this away. So she's going to stay out. I'm having so much fun with this. I, at this point, I have used almost every shade. The only shades I haven't used are these two blue ones right here and this rose, rose gold color right here. But my green heart is unbelievably satisfied with this palette. So I'm having so much fun with it. So because um, I'm not ready to put it away, I am going to keep it out. If y'all want a dedicated video on this, let me know because I had one and it's gone, but I will be more than happy to do another one. I created some of my most favorite green looks with this so far. I'm ecstatic to have this in my collection. I'm ecstatic to keep using it for the month of April. All right, y'all, that is all of my April palettes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I sure do appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, please slap a thumbs up on there. I hate begging or asking for that, but it really does help me see what you guys like, what you don't like. So if you did enjoy it, please throw a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's okay. I I like the feedback. I like the encouragement, the discouragement, whatever it is. It helps keep me on track to make things for you guys because this is for you. It is for me, but it is also for you. So, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down comment, let me know. I appreciate you guys. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic April and I will catch you soon. Later much. Mm -hmm.